Hello friends please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos. Thank you for your support. Creating the 2024 Mustang, Ford pulled a gutsy and potentially historic move. The seventh generation Mustang is likely the last for the gas snorting pony car. But the fact it's purely gas snorting at all is something of a surprise. Chevrolet is rumored to be sunsetting the Camaro as we know it ahead of an electric replacement in 2024. Dodge has come out and confirmed its Challenger is going electric around the same time. A passion project in the truest sense. The 2024 Mustang team needed to justify its rationale for an internal combustion muscle car at every turn, even with management ultimately supporting its moves. After all, Ford is in the throes of embracing electric trucks and SUVs. Mustang enthusiasts, who've purchased about 10 million of the cars since production began in 1964, should rejoice in the fact Ford is even doing this at a time when not only its primary competitors are exiting the gas-powered muscle car segment. But sales of coupes and convertibles continue to decline generally while cars, meaning not SUVs and trucks, themselves are becoming an endangered species boxed out by ever more popular high-riding vehicles. Think about it. The Mustang, even today, is the only car Ford sells in North America. And EVs are coming. The Mustang Mach-E, an electric crossover, already outsells the traditional Mustang Coupe. Executive Chairman Bill Ford said he knows the last internal combustion, stick shift Mustang will roll off the line in Flat Rock, Michigan, in his lifetime. And he will have a tear in his eye, but we're not there yet. Regardless of what the future holds, the 2024 Ford Mustang, revealed on September 14 at the 2022 North American International Auto Show, also known as the Detroit Auto Show, is a commitment to many more years of traditional pony car sales. There will still be a 23 model year for the existing model with orders to open soon. And then the new for 2024 Pony Gallops in, a de facto victory lap for the breed with its taut new looks. Modern interior, electronic drift brake, and the ability to reverend the engine with your key fob. When the 2024 Ford Mustang goes on sale early next summer, consumers will still be able to choose between a coupe and a convertible, and between a base model with an EcoBoost 4-cylinder or a more powerful GT with a V8 that also comes with a manual transmission. Over a lengthy life cycle, we expect to see a rollout of heritage names such as Boss, Bullet, and Mach 1. There is certainly some space within this platform architecture and powertrains to do some more, says Mustang chief nameplate engineer Ed Krenz. The automaker found a viable way to update the car. The new S650 platform is a modified version of the existing S550, and there are a few carryover pieces such as the roof, a pillar, and rear glass. Notions of a Mustang hybrid or adding all-wheel drive were dropped. Ford's designers carefully honed the styling, which is as evolutionary as the new S650 bones are. The result is instantly recognizable as a Mustang and checks all the right boxes with its long hood, short rear deck lid, and tapering roof. While the 4- and 8-cylinder engines are similar to today's, they're both nearly all new. Ford is essentially building a better mousetrap here, adding some cool party tricks, more tech and over-the-air updates made possible with its new electrical architecture. Let's stick a hoof in, shall we? Early designs were tossed aside in favor of a bolder look, with muscular fenders, a lower belt line, and sexier tautness. It looks like a fist in the wind going down the road, said global design director Joel Paskowski, whereas the sixth general Mustang went more international. The seventh generation harkens back to its American roots to provide a modern interpretation of a classic. That means new tri-bar LED accented headlights to match the taillights, but also dramatic rear angles that undercut and act like a spoiler, making the car look wider even though the proportions are largely unchanged. For the first time, the Mustang EcoBoost will wear entirely unique front styling compared to the GT. The changes go beyond distinct grille inserts, the lower outboard grille openings, 
which are fake on the regular Mustang, are larger on the GT with one side blocked off for aero and the other fully functional. Air also flows out through the GT's high-gloss black hood extractor. The roofline was crafted to ensure drivers can get in and out without removing their helmet at the track. The convertible has an insulated fabric roof with a single handle latch and a one-touch button to open and close it. There are two new paint colors among the 11 offered, yellow splash and vapor blue, as well as new colors for stripes, Brembo brake calipers, and seat belts. And there are a number of appearance packages to further customize the look. Wheels range in size from standard 17-inch to 19-inch on the GT, and optional 20-inchers. Interior design manager Ricardo Garcia said it was time to shake up the interior, and he created full-scale foam bucks to get customer feedback on the ideas burbling up from the team, which, during a three-year period, evolved into the new, more open cockpit. The new flat-bottom steering wheel is standard across all trims and is heftier. It's a joy to hold. The SYNC 4-powered infotainment system has fewer physical buttons because more functions are controlled via the screen. And about those screens, they're a real departure for Mustang. With a 12.4-inch display directly in front of the driver and 13.2-inch center screen angled toward the driver, both under a single pane of glass in most trims. Graphics are crisp, plentiful, and change with the drive mode selected. They are also highly customizable and nostalgic. Dig into the menu for the Fox body, late 80s, early 90s era Mustang, faux analog dials and roll-down memory lane. Finally, there is media storage with a flat wireless charging pad as well as USB ports and an angled slot for a phone. The seats have been upgraded and come in cloth, synthetic, and real leather while the cabin has laser grain trim that replicates carbon fiber. The top-end sound system is Bang & Olufsen and the Mustang is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible, with Amazon Alexa built in for voice commands. The base 2.3-liter EcoBoost turbocharged i4 is updated to reduce emissions and increase fuel efficiency. We don't have specs yet, but engineers tell us the power will not drop, which means it should continue to push out at least 310 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. This fourth-generation power plant is known as an MPC, modular power cylinder, engine and makes its debut on the Mustang. There is also a 2.0-liter MPC that will power the 2023 Lincoln Corsair and the 2023 Ford Escape. The 5.0-liter Coyote V8 engine is on its fourth upgrade and is also found in the 2022 Ford F-150 pickup with cylinder deactivation capability for better fuel economy. Engineers did not want that fuel-saving system for the Mustang because it makes the engine too tall, compromising packaging and hood height, and it reduces the engine redline. For the Mustang, the upgraded V8 has a new steel oil pan and a dual air intake box. The twin-throttle body cold air intake will allow twice the airflow to create the most powerful GT to date. That means it exceeds the today's 450 horsepower and 420 lbft. The car still has active exhaust with the Mustang's signature sound but adds a quiet mode to keep your neighbors happy. GT customers get a GetRag 6-speed manual transmission with Reverend Matt or they can opt for the improved 10-speed automatic. Larger brake rotors and calipers are included, too. Engineers say the steering is markedly more precise with a new rack and faster steering ratio. While the excellent Magnaride electronic adaptive shocks have been tuned for the new car and will be available with a performance package. Optional performance packs are available for both the Mustang GT and EcoBoost models for more fun at the track. And the new Mustang has the Ford Copilot 360 suite of driver assist safety features. There are a couple unique features to delight buyers, starting with the new electronic drift brake developed with the help of professional drifter Von Gidden Jr. It normally behaves like a regular electric parking brake until you activate the drift brake button in track mode, which turns traction off, 
you can choose traction off or advanced traction off. Then pulling on this brake causes the abs module to hydraulically actuate the rear brakes only, in proportion to brake handle motion. Gidden insisted it provide an instant and effortless locking, and the hydraulic actuation is vastly quicker than the electric motor that locks the separate parking brake caliper. The drift brake comes with the performance pack on all Mustang models. Easter Egg the track apps icon is the Graden Raceway track in Michigan where a lot of the engineering work was done. Another new feature, the key fob not only starts the car, it can rev it. A party trick for teenagers and those who still think they are teenagers, it is only available with the automatic transmission, to which engine stop, start is limited. Ford sees continued life in the sports car segment and likes the idea of having a monopoly when the competition exits. As mentioned, Dodge will stop making the present versions of the gas-powered Charger and Challenger in 2023, though we've heard the next versions won't only be electric, and the existing Chevrolet Camaro only has a few years left. Doing this car at this time is a victory in itself, Krenz said, as others are saying goodbye. We're saying hello. The Mustang makes it possible for an EV like the Mach-E to exist, Krenz said. The Mach-E will carry the volume torch going forward, but in the end, it makes it possible for the pony car to continue to service enthusiasts. The engineer personally hopes the Mustang silhouette continues to exist, propulsion agnostic. We don't know what to expect for an 8th generation Mustang. Perhaps it will be a pure EV. So the 7th gen is likely the last chance for Mustang fans to kick it back old school. The latest Ford Mustang is expected to have a long lifespan, so it should be many years before Bill Ford has to wipe away that tear.